Okay, good day guys welcome to today's lesson on etabs today we are going to learn how to analyze and design a simply supported reinforced concrete beam on etabs 2016. so the first thing we do is we open a new model then we input our parameters okay so i'm using use built-in settings so i'm using metric si euro euro code 3 and euro code 2 for my concrete euro code 3 for my steel so i open it so I'm analyzing and designing a simply supported 6 meter beam. So number of grid in the x direction 2, number of grid in the y direction 1, then the spacing I need 6 meters, so 6, so I can leave this one. The number of story, I just need one story. Yes. So once I'm done with that, I can click OK. It brings in this new window. So I have the model explorer the windows 1 and windows 2 so the windows 1 is for plan windows 2 is for 3d as i've explained in the previous video so the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to um, assign define material and define property and in this case i'm going to use a 450 mm deep beam so i'm going to use a 230 by 450 mm rectangle beam so the first thing i do now is define define material property so add new material region europe so material type concrete the strength of steel i want to use i want to use c25 c30 okay so you can check everything everything is there you can see the strength 25 mp that's the cylinder strength you can change it to lightweight concrete if you're interested but for now i'm not interested in that so i'll leave it as okay yes then the next thing i need to do now is define define the rebar rebar and click ok so my rebar i want to use 410 410 yes yes material property so this i'm changing it to 410 okay then click ok so after that you can then the next thing you need to define is section properties frame section and let me delete all this i'm not using them so delete i need to leave one left Okay, so still my beam, I will be able to. Okay, so add new property, rectangle. So for concrete, so I'm going to give it a name I want. So beam, two thirty by four fifty. So what material am I using for my concrete? I'm using C twenty five C thirty. You can also create new one in case if you forget or you want to add your material. Can create a color point. Okay, so you can change the color. Well, this doesn't matter. So my depth is four fifty, and my width is two thirty. Okay, so I can modify the modif stiffness modifier. I can change it. My torsional constant so zero point zero zero one. Moment of inertia is point three five, and this is also point three five. Sorry. 0 0.3 you have to check the code so 0 0.35 i'm that what i'm using but most cases i can just leave it as one one i leave my torsional constant there so my reinforcement so what i want to design it as i want to design it as a beam and my rebar i'm going to create rebar 410 and rebar 410 so my cover i want to use 25 mm for cover 25 mm for cover okay then you click you can see the section properties you created now you can see it this beam so we click ok and ok then i can delete this since i'm not using this okay so the first thing i do now is model my six meter beam so i'll come here use this cursor drop quick beam and choose the property name i want so this is the property i have and click it okay six meter you can see once you just click it it draws it automatically so the next thing i'll do now is select these joints select this joint and go to assign joint restrain so i want it to be simply supported that is this so apply and okay so automatically it has been applied there so the next thing i'm going to do now is since i'm not assigning self weight i'm going to come to load patterns and change this to zero since i'm not assigning the self weight to so modify load yes okay. the next thing i'll do now is click this beam assign frame load and distributed load so 
for my dead load, I want to assume a load of, let's assume plus self foot and every other thing, I want to assume a load of 15. So I put 15 kilonewton, then direction, gravity. That's why I'm not putting negative. If I put negative, it's going to go upward. So it's going to go against gravity. So apply. Okay. So I've added the first load. You can see 15. Then I'll click it again. Go to assign frame load distributed. Then change it to live load. Then I want to assign a load of maybe 35. Okay. Apply. Okay. So you can see 35. So both dead and live. Then the next thing I need to do is create load combination according to euro code 1.35 dead times 1.5 live so i'm going to define load you can check your load cases these are load cases and i'm going to put load combinations so i want it tabs to automatically define it for me so define it to concrete frame design yes okay so the first one i have is um 1.35 times dead and the next one i have is 1.35 plus 1 so i know this is a critical load combination i can also leave this i can leave this but i know this is what it tab is going to use to design for me so i'll click ok so once i'm done with that the next thing i'll do now is i'll check my analysis but okay i'll check my model if there's any error with my model and i can't sorry and okay so it's checking the model and let's see there so model has been checked no warning message messages were generated okay so i can run my analysis from this so run the analysis see if it has um six meter beam tutorial okay so when the analysis is running then we'll see the deformed shape Okay, so you can see our displacement, the deformed shape here. Yeah. So in this case, if I'm interested in seeing my shear and bending moment, I can click this and see my moment in M3. That is the moment in the major direction. Okay, so you can see this. Um, you can see the live load. You can see it's increasing. Then you can see the combination. So I know this is the most critical combination and I can see it. Okay, so I can show value. Apply okay so you can see three to seven so if you also do that manually that is um once you do it manually you get the same answer with it okay so the next thing i'll do now is to design so i'll come to design concrete frame design open it and you can check your revised press this is what i'm using to design my euro code too you can set if you want to change it or i'm still using my euro code any anything you're interested in setting you can set it and you are good to go so if you are interested in changing your factor of material for your steel you can change it from this then for concrete you can change it here you can also do anything you're interested in okay so close then you come to this point and you start design or check okay so you can see it now that at this point is one four two one overstressed and this now for you to pass an overstressed member you look for you to pass an overstressed member is for you to increase the size so you can once you click it you see the summary so you tell you what why it failed so it's telling you that reinforcements requ uh, required exceeded maximum allowed that means the maximum has been exceeded so you can see it overstressed 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 so it's too much so the best thing we are going to do now is we are going to increase the depth or the width of the beam so i'll go back to define the section property this the modify section property but i can't do it because my mood i got finished analyzing so i need to unlock it first so go back here close this close this then unlock once i unlock it it's like i can edit anything that is there now so define material properties frame section then modify or show property so i want to change it to maybe 230 by 750 750 so my depth is 750 okay okay so you can see this and also come back here to assign frame section property and assign it apply okay still there already 
So the next thing I'll do now is run my analysis. Since I know my model is okay, I'll just run the analysis. Okay, so you can see this. You can also check your movements if you're interested in, but we're not interested in that for now. Then we'll go to start design check. Okay, so now you can see that it has passed in the 3D. So you just click the beam, right click, and it brings out this table for you. So you just click your summary and it brings it out for you. So see what it's saying? It's telling you that element probably B1, unique name, one, section ID, 230 by 750. The worst combination is using the 1.35 plus 1.5. Then the station location that um at the middle. Then the length is six meters and this. You can also change this LLRF. So section properties is explaining what section properties is. This is cover. I've explained it to you. So this is the MPA, FCK, and every other thing. You design code parameters. You've seen all this. You can check your code. So you've seen your moment is in this bottom negative two axis. This is it. So area of steel moments at this point. Minimum rebar. Then this is the required. So you can see it. Yes. So you can see your shear force. Okay. You can see your torsion so you passed. So we are good to go. So you can take this steel and probably I want to divide, I want to use 20 mm so I can get my provisions for 20 because I know 1y20 is 314. So since I have 1391 divided by 314, so I can get approximately 5y20. So it's a pass. I can provide 5y20 bottom. Okay. So thank you for watching today's video on eTabs. Please, if you have any question, you can ask, you can drop it in the um, comment section. Thank you very much.